you tell me what's your name, please? Alicia Grimes. Okay, Alicia, where, uh, where are you from? I am from Tatum, Texas. Oh, that's cool. So you're Texan. <laughs> yes, deep that's... east Texan. Oh, wow. Mashallah. Uh, how long have you been Muslim? Uh, yesterday, I embraced Muslim um, religion. Oh, wow. That's great. And uh, would you tell me, like, uh, how was your life before Islam? Um, uh, I didn't come from a very religious family. I mean, they say they're religious, but they're not really what you would call a religious family. They're Christian. They're Baptist. Um, but we would be the type of family that would go to church for like a month, really hot and heavy, and then we would go back to church for like three or four months, you know, like you, we wouldn't we would be completely out of church for three or four months and then they go back, you know. Um, my parents were divorced when I was 10, so we lived with my dad after that until I was about 17. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was very, very abusive mm -hmm. to me. Um, and my younger brother, my little sister not so much, but really to me, I think, because I reminded him a lot of my mother. Um, when, I was seven, when I was 16, I actually moved in with my grandparents. Right. Um, I led a pretty destructive lifestyle, a self-destructive <coughs> lifestyle. I, you know, I don't know if it was so much that I hated myself or everything around me, you know, it just, it was like I just wanted to do anything I could do to hurt myself in a way, but I just seen it as, you know, this was fun, this was yeah. something that I wanted to do is what I thought. You know, I tried drugs and alcohol and sex and nothing ever really fulfilled me emotionally. I went back and lived with my mother when I was 17 and um, I thought maybe it was like a different, you know, a different thing, a new beginning. Um, but still I went in like the same pattern and I maybe even got worse. Um, I met my daughter's father when I was in my senior year of high school and I dated a lot of guys and he was just, you know, he was really funny and sweet so I thought that that was a good path for me. Um, we dated for a couple of years. Um, and I ended up getting pregnant. And at, at first, it wasn't as bad, you know. I mean, I wasn't fulfilled. We didn't have the best of things, but right. it wasn't bad. I thought, you know, I have somebody at least. You know, I was just satisfied with what I had. I didn't want to ask for too much. I didn't expect too much. Um, it was better than what I had certainly had before. Um, and after my daughter was born, that's when my boyfriend, her father, um, really got really heavy into drugs, oh. really, really heavy into drugs, mm -hmm. um, not just like, you know, not like marijuana, I'm talking about like hard stuff like uh, cocaine, cocaine. Um, and we would just, we'd never have anything, I can't say that I didn't do it because at first I thought, you know, well, okay, you know, I'll do it too, went through about three months, and, um, were you pregnant at that time, or no, after, this was after, our, after your was pregnancy, born. yeah, um, we, um, we just, I mean, at first it was like three months and it was okay and then we just kind of got to the point where it was enough because we didn't have anything, we lost everything. So I left all of that alone and I thought he had to, but he didn't and he continued to do So everything. you broke up with him? I much. left him a few times. I left him a few times. I tried to give him chance after chance because I loved him and cared for him and I'm not the type of person once I care for somebody to just right. feel him. I know people make mistakes and I'm very forgiving and yeah. I thought maybe... Maybe he would change. Maybe right. I could change him. You know, I well, did everything. Yeah, so. I'm sorry to hear that. Now, what happened? I mean, how did you start to learn about Islam? Where my daughter was actually diagnosed with Guillain-Barré syndrome. It's a syndrome that um, starts at your feet and moves up your body, and it makes your muscles really, really weak. It's where where your immune system attacks your central nervous system and it causes your muscles to get really really weak and it moved up her body it got in her arms some kids are adults i mean anybody can get it um it can happen to anybody just something that happens out of the blue i mean she was totally normal before this um but it happened to where she couldn't move her arms and some kids get put on ventilators but she didn't get that bad thank god but um she it's getting better, you know, she was getting better. I met um, Hayat Sadoon in um, the hospital, and I just started asking a lot of questions about, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. the religion and things like that, so. Yeah. 
What really make you to be attracted to Islam? Okay, I mean, you knew about Islam, but what really attracted you to know about Islam and say, okay, this is my religion and this is where I want to be? Well, at first I was like, I think a lot of people are really um, misinformed about it. I think that a lot of people think that it's like the Hindu religion because that's what I thought. You know, I thought, you know, it's just something that's practiced predominantly in like the Middle East, you know, type of thing. I didn't really know a lot about it. Um, and then when they started to tell me that a lot of it had to deal with the same background because I've always known that there's one God. Mm -hmm. I've never questioned that. Um, but I was brought up as that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He was the Son of God, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but then it was like the questioning was, it came, you know, well, why does Jesus, you know, why does Jesus have to die on a cross for our sins? I mean, can't God just forgive us anyway? I mean, why does that have to happen? Right. Um, because God is, you know, all-powerful, all-knowing, can do anything. Why does he have to have somebody to die on a cross for our sins? Right. Um, then, you know, there was, you know, the fact that the Bible has been translated so many times, and there are so many different versions of the Bible. There's like, I mean, I can't even count how many different churches I've been to right. where they're basically Christian churches, but they all have something different, and everybody can give you a different answer. I mean, mm -hmm. you can ask anybody and you know from any religion and they could say well my bible says this well my bible says this you know but if it's a different bible you know which one's the right kind and it was always confusing for me but then when i look at the islam religion there is you know one quran it's everybody knows what it says it's never been you know it's been translated into english but you can read the arabic you know it's not something that you can't learn and you can't read yourself right. and you know and it doesn't it's not very difficult to understand it's for, fairly easy to understand you don't have to be you know there's not like five different things that can come out of it you know it's pretty self-explanatory so that would be what attracted me i want to know what it really hit you where you say, okay, this is the this is the time, this is the right time to take Islam as my religion. How 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 did that happen with you? Um, well, at first, I I knew what, in what direction I was heading, but I was really scared because um, when you grow up your whole life being told that it's blasphemous to consider to not say to say that Jesus is not the Son of God, that's blasphemy. Right. And where I, in the religion that I grew up in, that's the unforgivable sin. Right. And if you commit the unforgivable sin, then you're going to go to hell. And I guess it just had, it took me that, you know, being, oh, getting over that fear and past, you know, past that to where I could really allow myself to, to embrace it. Um, I just remember, I was talking to Hannah, which is Hayat's mother, and she said, you know, she showed me a lot of passages, um, and I had prayed every night before I went to bed, you know, God, just give me a sign, just give me a sign, some kind of a clear sign that I know that this is the way that I'm supposed to go. Right. And she read in the Quran to me, and, you know, which, of course, I can't read Arabic, so I read the English part, and at the last words, I don't remember which chapter it was, but it said that, um, you know, it was talking about Jesus, and about Jesus saying, you know, that I'm not the God, you know, I'm not God, I never said mm -hmm. I was. Um, and then the last sentence it said to all that are looking for a sign this is a sign within itself you know like this is a sign um, wow. you know for you you know yeah. this is if this is what you're looking for here's your sign mm -hmm. and to me that was just like you know an overwhelming feeling came over me and I just started to cry because it was just like you know I felt like you know, I just felt, I felt like, you know, this is my sign, this is exactly what I was looking for, and God gave this to me, you know, and I should embrace this, because yeah. this is something special, not, you don't get a sign from God every day, you know, yeah. so, you know, that was just, it, it made me really happy, and I knew that, you know, and I felt love, and I felt support, you know, because I had these other people around me that, you know, were really happy for me, and I never had that before, so. You know, I'm really how how do you feel right now after you you embraced your Islam? I feel really good. I feel like a lot a big weight has been lifted off of me. Um, I felt like I could breathe. You know, breathe easier. You don't have to worry about. It's almost like there isn't any. You know, they say, well, you're like a newborn. You're not. You know, you're free of everything and all the other sins that I've committed, all the other things that have happened in my life. They don't matter anymore. You know. Right. Right, No, yeah, exactly. All your sins that you've done before, they, they're not only forgiven, but actually they were swapped. And 
Yeah. And they're now all like mountains of good deeds right now and good uh, good blessings, mashallah. How is your daughter now? Um, she's doing better. I mean, she's happy. <laughs> she let me go today. So. Yeah. Um, she's know. happy. She's doing well. I, mean, I wish she's, she's here to, to take yeah, a I wish she could come too. We yeah. tried to get let the hospital let her come, but they would basically have yeah. more of an advance. But yeah. Thank you so much.